Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, Ren Hoek here, and uh, this is a um, going to be a video on a uh, sandbox, I believe it is. I like this map a lot because uh, in Slayer, um, um, well, one thing I want to bring up first is that I'm playing this. Uh, this is uh, in Rumble Pit as opposed to Lone Wolf, so it's not really ranked. Uh, you'll see some huge noobs in this game. And uh, for the time being, uh, I'm going to be playing uh, mainly a social playlist to kind of get back in the swing of things because um, Halo, man, like the learning curve for it is, is kind of ridiculous. And uh, if you lose um, your comfort level with uh, the battle rifle and so forth, uh, it can take time to get comfortable with moving around and uh, getting used to the game again. So I've mainly been playing the laid back, like social playlist for the time being. Um, but I do have a... Uh, the Asus, uh, I think, V236H monitor coming in. It's a 23 inch monitor, and I think it's the official monitor or like screen, so to speak, of uh, MLG. So it's really fucking good, man. Um, the response time from controller input to registration on the screen is two milliseconds, which is just phenomenal. So um, it's gonna make a huge difference, man, because uh, I don't know if you, can, if you guys can kind of see it or not, but like my aim and my, um, well, just, just my aim in general, and, uh, um, usually my aim is extremely tight and tenacious, but you can kind of tell that it's real sloppy and, uh, that my twitches are kind of sluggish when you watch this. Um, usually my aim is, is, is really, uh, accurate and so forth, but, uh, with the TV I play on now, which is a 40-inch, um, HD TV, which is, which is nice, I, I love it, you know, very much, but, um, there's definitely a latency whenever I, you know, do something on the controller and, you know, it registers on screen. And for whatever reason, uh, Call of Duty doesn't really have that problem, but um, Halo 3 just doesn't seem to have been made for ACTVs properly or something. So there's a bit of a lag there, and I'm still trying to get used to that, but um, like I said, uh, coming, soon, coming very soon I should have um, that monitor and I'll be able to play it full strength. and. Um, I'm really excited just to, to get that happening, you know, so, so there's that, I got that on the way. Um, it feels good to get back in touch with my, um, my battle rifle man, uh, I really miss just like pounding kids with the BR, like, I think it's a lot more gratifying, like when you kill somebody, and it takes time and, and, and uh, you know, uh, maintain accuracy to actually put somebody down, you know, it's not just uh, like an instant kill or whatever. You know, you gotta outplay people, you gotta move around tactically, and, uh, you know, you gotta, like, watch out for grenades and throw your grenades as well, and, uh, there's a lot more, I feel like, to, um, the battles in this game than, than other games. Um, so, yeah, it's been a lot of fun, uh, going back and playing Halo 3. Um, so, uh, with this, this game, I, I started off pretty rough. I get killed by a noob on, like, a, what should we call it, on a... A brute chopper, I think it is, and uh, just retarded, man. Like that's the one thing about uh, these free for alls and the social playlists. There's not really a a playlist you can go to to play against like good players that are playing for fun. Um, if I were to play Lone Wolves, um, you're mainly gonna run into kids that are trying really hard, and they'll like crouch walk around and stuff, and uh, they'll do whatever it takes to actually win. Um, Crouch walking in Halo 3 allows you to not be seen on the radar. If you see my little radar in the bottom left corner, um, I can see movement whenever people are, you know, standing and, and moving around normally. But whenever someone crouch walks around, you can't see them. So um, it's just very, uh, it's just a lot more, I guess, competitive. But uh, I mainly play this game for fun. Um, I was never big on um, actually being competitive at it because um, there's dudes in MLG that would just absolutely like WTF scrape me in every way imaginable, so those guys are so sick, so uh, you know, I, I don't really play for fun, I don't really play uh, to be uh, super hardcore at it or nothing, you know, but uh, I do enjoy it tremendously. Um, here I pick up the kill on that dude getting pounded by a brute chopper, and so uh, eventually later on in the game you'll see a brute chopper come around on me, and I decide to drop down and pick up the missile launcher to take it out, because uh, I hate people using that noob shit. I mean, right here, this, this kid tries to get into the brute chopper himself, and uh, I managed to finish him off before he actually gets in there. Um, yeah, so just uh, shitting on these noobs here real quick. Um, 
pretty much easy mode. Uh, once I get on top of the these two bases, uh, like I said earlier, this is a very uh, like battle rifle kind of centric map. It's more about like ranged, you know, combat rather than close range um, combat type uh, situations. So um, I like to get up on top of these uh, pyramids and just like uh, you know let my BR do the work for me. Um, so uh, once I get on top of these towers, it's really hard to get me off there because like I'll use it. And uh, there's enough cover there for you to easily get your health back if someone starts, you know, popping shots at you and so forth. So um, that's the my playstyle on this map is to kind of stay back and just use my battle rifle if I can. Um, you'll see, I mean, like, your best case scenario, if you run out there all the time in the middle of the map, um, you, might, you might, like, hold, like, a like a 2KD or something. I mean, you can do well doing that. But uh, in the end, like, it's just, you know, it's a lot better to... Uh, on top of the pyramids and just sort of steal kills that's what i usually do and uh, one thing you'll notice about uh, free for all is that it's not about who does the most damage at all matter of fact uh, the person that typically does the most damage in free for all will probably um in many cases end up losing the game because uh um your whole goal what, what good free for all players do uh you know especially on maps like this where every kill is kind of up for grabs with uh you know the battle rifle having range and so forth um, with that being the case on maps like this, uh, you're almost better off to wait until people are already weak to start shooting them. You know, like this guy right here was already weak, so I was able to pick him up and finish him off from really far away. You know, so. Um, anyways, yeah, that's the game. Uh, final score was uh, 25 and 6, and uh, I'll talk to you later. All right, see ya. Bye.